What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about how to log in to your Shopify backend panel with ease. Now, some of you may have forgotten how to do this because you've probably just have it, your Shopify backend on your favorites, but what happens when you go to um, your friend's house or your parent's house or something like that and you log into their browser only to stop and think, what the hell is my login? So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can log into your Shopify backend panel through a web browser on your mobile phone and how you can add multiple stores Chrome uh, Safari or anything like that that you use to browse the internet and what you want to do is in the search bar at the top type Shopify login so generally it will come up in the first search result um, and what you want to do is click that first one there wait for it to load it's one of my old stores and when you get here you want to type the name of your store so for this example I created a demo store and we're just going to be logging into that so what you want to do is whatever your store name is um, you put that down and put myshopify.com at the end of it so my demo store 2019.myshopify.com and then you want to place your email address so I'm going to just put the email address that I've registered with this I've blurred this out for um, specific reasons and then for that demo for that store that you have uh, you want to put in your um, password so there we go We're logging in And we've entered this um, into your Shopify backend panel um, through a web browser. And now we're going to take a look at logging into your Shopify from your mobile phone. Now you will need the mobile phone app for this. Um, you can get the iOS or Android app depending on what sort of um, phone you have, whether it's an Android or an iPhone. Um, you need to head over to the App Store to download this. I'm not going to show you how to download this. Um, I think it's very straightforward. Um, task to do so let's hop on over to our phone and do that so I'm currently on my phone now and what I'm going to do is click on to the Shopify app and here it's loaded so I'm going to log in um, all you got to do is press that and the login screen will come up again so now all you want to do is type in your email address um, I've blurred this for security reasons and then enter your password um, we're just logging into the exact same store as before okay and then click the login button and it should load up All right, there we go. We've all loaded up back into our Shopify store. Um, now, the last thing that I want to cover is basically if you want to add another store, um, because you run multiple stores, maybe you have like a general store and a niche store, but you want to see both of them at the same time, all you have to do is click the store button at the bottom tab there at the bottom right, and then click your store name at the top and a little drop down will basically appear and what you want to do is click login to log into existing store and there we go now you want to put your email address in for the new store and I'm just doing this again and and the password and there we go but I've this was one of the stores that I used to have um, I've since closed it down um, just didn't want to run it anymore so yeah once once you've clicked in your store for the other email address and password you can definitely log in and then to switch between the stores all you need to do is click 
my store and then select from the list of stores that are in the drop down tab under the store tab and there you have it um, now you'll be able to log into your Shopify um, stores on mobile um, add new stores um, so that you can choose between multiple stores and also desktop uh, browsers where you may have forgotten um, the login information